Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion Quest Mods. Gonna be finishing up last of the debts for integration. So let's see if we have anything new with Tanarok. Debts, check my list and oh wait, no. Good that you're here. There were quite some changes to say the least. The utter failure of Rejecca falls back to me, so there isn't much left to do. In fact, there are only a few things left few debts to collect or to settle and after them I have to retire tire for a while so let's see what's up with you it's now more planning problem than a mission problem and nothing right now so let's level up yeah I think you have to find out about Projecta before you get the second phase And that's and good news, kind of anyway. Back to business for you. There's a bit of dust to collect. Collecting dust. Many years ago, the Count of Coral died. His remains are kept locked away in Castle Coral. I already have. I was able to gather the key. Bring me his ashes. Uh. Well, let's reject and Fort Kamala. A not that efficient associate. Hmm. What a surprise to see her trapped. Not. Anyway, now I know of her fate. It does not matter. You may or may not want to give me the gym. If you hand it over, I will release her if I find a use for her. Uh, here's the gym. I'll take it then. So you can either give it to Kara or uh, him, Tanarak. Or I guess you could just drop it somewhere and lose it forever. But yeah, if you give it to Kara, she destroys it or keeps it secret somewhere. But with him, he'll eventually free her, give you the choice to free her. You've seen the, it seems if you Yeah, so you can always use the canvas the castle quest to Good luck, Help investigator. Because it'll let you wander the castle freely. Okay. So yeah, in the bed chambers, there's just an urn on one of the bookcases. Right. Ashes of Volga. And that's all there is to it. Oh, and you become infamous because you know these quests are a little more evil starting at this point because it's a uh, debt collector 2 so you just bring the dust back collecting dust you have found the ashes good they will come in handy later the count itself still has a role to play and a debt to pay being dead does not save you well not always take this they have proven to be insufficient. Oh, 25 vampires? Oh. A bunch of ingredients, I guess. That's check my list and nothing. Alright. So, debts, check my list and. This time won't be about collecting an overdue debt, this time it will be about settling a score. Another debt collector arrived, who shouldn't be here, and he made a beginner's mistake. Banish him. Another debt collector. Exactly. I heard he calls himself Lazus a Exivla, yet no normal one. His mind full of lists and structures, and he made the typical beginner's mistake. He came into this world. Go to him, banish him. This will allow me to bring my operations in this world to a finish. Where can I find him? Hard to say. He's hiding in a cave that I was able to find out. The cave is on an old road somewhere in the Vallas Mountains. I think the old road past the Aelid Ruin of Haim. Haim lies northeastern of Cyrodiil, the feet of Vallas Mountains, southeast of the city of Chate. Couldn't I work for him? Love the betrayal. Hate the betrayer. He will not trust you. Don't even consider going rogue. Can't you work together? No. I'll banish him. 
Word of warning, he may not have my tricks up his sleeve, but he will get some magical protections, likely against severing his link to this world. Get creative. So, somewhere near Haim. Is it the passage to Morrowind? No. Could he be in the Lost Road? Right. Let's go to Haim. Ah, so yeah, he's here in the Lost Road. What is this? Why does this weakling annoy me? Get lost or make your strike. It doesn't matter. You're doomed either way. Pickpocket? Vernicus and Burler. Does this tell me anything? Marksmanship. Nah. So, sure. Yeah, I think it might be a little too overpowered, especially with the mods. <laughs> but he was level 36 and had a 20 shield ring. So, might have been hard if I hit him with like a steel sword or something. Let's see how he fares in a fair fight. Oh, he's got a ton of summons. Alright, back to Tanarok. Another deck card. You have taken care of him. Good. Nice work. Now there are only two more debts to collect then. I only need time to prepare. Wouldn't make much sense to get you going before you're able to do anything. That's checklist and nothing. So deaths and there is a potion to deliver. Potion to deliver. Ever heard of a lava the pair? Once you plugged, despite being warned, a flower of Lady Vermina. Now it is time for Olava to pay for the flower. Go to the chapel of Mara and Broom. Vale, sneak this little potion into her inventory. Do not let yourself be seen by anyone, or the magic of the potion will be forfeit. What will the potion do? It will not kill her. More you don't need to know. Is this a joke? Delivery service? No, it isn't. I'm on my way. Good. So I have to do it quietly and not be seen. Potion to deliver. Yeah, if you if she's dead from uh, Knights of the Nine or some other issue, you can't do the quest, and you have to wait ten levels before it'll happen again. I resummoned her, so I'll try and do it that way. But yeah, I'll have to reload now. Either that or wait until I go up 10 more levels and if you get caught you have to wait five levels before you can do the next quest so to make it where you only have to wait one level you have to put it in an inventory and not get caught so just save before you try and if you do the Knights of the Nine storyline you'll have to find some way to use her base ID to summon her back and do it that way. Alright, reload. So if she is dead, you either have to wait 
10 levels or just use uh, set stage. So yeah, if she's dead, just do set stage BGSQ4 deaths 27 for having successfully slipped the potion in. The potion to deliver, you have delivered the potion as intended. That is good. Now she will know how it is to live in Vermina's sphere, even when not sleeping. Yet the potion will not change her permanently, maybe. Vermina was unclear when it comes to this question. Be it as it may, here is your reward, a small heirloom of someone who ran into a few more Daedra than he could handle. And you get a reward for succeeding at it. Ah, the Talisman of St. Jub. Oh, pretty powerful. <laughs> so good thing I cheated and did it, but yeah. So, on to the next deck. Alright, so Tanarak, Dents, checking my list, and... Ever heard of a golden saint named Tessera? Well, she has got a debt to repay. One to Shagor. That's around dead. It is beyond my knowledge what happened between her and Shagorath. Why and how she got her stranded light idea. Yet Shagorath sponsored it with some goods. Under the premise that she's going to use the gifts against any influence of Jigalag in the, this world. Tessarel has chosen Cyrodiil as a center point for her operations, while Jigalag's influence is biggest on the Somerset Isles. Therefore, some of the goods she got from Shea Gorath are to be taken back. Her secret stash lies in Mundus, but near the Shivering Isles. Find it. Retrieve the gold and the Golden Saint and Dark Seducer weapons and armor. Deal between Shea Gorath and Tess? I don't know any details. My guess is that she was sent to Mundus by him. Usually an Oriole and Maskin are sent to spread madness, but that doesn't seem to be her purpose. My guess is that she's here to open another front against Jigalak, or pave the way for more traditional servants of Shagora. But I don't know, and I don't exactly care. Why take her stash? Resupplying the Oriole and Maskin still loyal to Shagora. Why ever Tesserel came to Mundus, she's gone rogue. Worse yet, she can use the assets to lure more lesser Daedra into her services. So I think you can refuse it, saying you don't want to steal from her, and... Eh, I'm on my way, then. Have fun searching for her stash. So, let's try see what Tess has to say about this. So you were sent by Shagorath. A pleasure. Tesserel and Shagorath. I'm not sure if I want to know how you found out. Found out what exactly? That I have not been entirely honest. I didn't lie. I just left out some details. I believe you. Thank you. Fool me once. <laughs> Tell me your side of the story. It is true that I got stranded in Mundus after being called to Merendon by an unlucky conjurer. It wasn't involuntarily, though. I know what would happen to me. I've planned for it. Waited for it. Not always do we emerge unchanged from the void. There is sickness, madness, change. I was one of the last Oriole that was banished to oblivion during the last Grey March. The void is a living hell. No sensory information. No seeing, hearing, feeling, tasting, smelling. Nothing and no change of doing anything at all. Every second stretches on for eternities. After the last Grey March, as the Isles were restored, I lived a hermit's life. I couldn't go back to my old station. I may have been a legend, but a burned out one. <laughs> I had a lot of time for pondering as I saw the signs of the next Grey March. I just wanted to get out. I've talked with Shagorath, proposed a plan to broaden his influence in Mundus. He agreed. I think he knew I lied, but he let me go nevertheless. And so I went, escaped the Grey March, thinking here became easier, less burdened by knowing what lies inevitably ahead. First goal, securing my own survival. 
as to not being banished again. Second goal, helping other Daedra in the same situation as mine. That's when I had the idea of the Stranded Light. We can't live against mortals in their very world, but as the Isle showed, we can live with mortals. We just needed a vessel to get accepted. My last attempt failed. I was playing an Altmer fighting against the Cameron Usurper. It only got me banished. My times of fighting are over, as are my times of spreading madness. I just want peace. Uh, I believe you. Thank you. No, I have to thank you. Without your help, the Stranded Light wouldn't exist, or maybe it would, but had taken a lot more time and a lot slower start. Even if I am not entirely honest, know that we have done a lot of good deeds, that the Stranded Light will turn Mundus into a better place. That's around Shagor. We already talked about this, didn't we? Okay. Goodbye. You can't see. So I could have sworn someone was supposed to give you a better clue. But he says it's some it's in Mundus, but it's near the Shivering Isles. And if you go to the island, drop down here, there's a chest. That's a real secret stash. So, all the armor and everything. There we go. Fortunately, the money that should be in the stash was already gone. Found an open Tessera stash. Time to get back, get what I need, and head back to Tanarok. So if you accept Tesserel's help for building Merkur up, she gives you the money from this uh, stash. Oh yeah, just return to Tanarok. Nothing. I broke the game. So we have the armor and everything. Except, kind of got messed up because one of my mods upgraded the items, and now he won't Tanara won't accept them because they're the wrong items. Uh, you know, one of the quest item levelers mods. I think it's Oleus or Oreus, something like that. I'll put a link in there. But yeah, if you're using that mod, you'll have to add the items manually. And then immediately talk to him. So, add item. Zero, 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 seven. EB twenty A one four OE. So Tesserel's dead. <laughs> okay, so I finally got it right. I guess it's the 20 plus version you're supposed to be summoned. You're supposed to give him. You've brought it to me. Good. I'll take the Golden Saint and Dark Seducer weapons and armor. The rest you can keep. This, however, was the last dead on my list. I am finished here. Well, there is some paperwork to do, but nothing requiring your services. I've got a notice that I can release Verjeka into your services as a reward. If you like, you just need a big enough tower for her, otherwise it will end badly. Good luck in your future business. So it's finally completed. And we can free Verjeka. I'm sure nothing bad will happen with that. So debts. There aren't any more debts, at least that I collect. I'm just here to clear a few things before I leave. Reject it. You've brought me the soul gem, and with Merkur up, you've got a suitable place. Should I release her to there? Release her. As you wish. Be careful, though. If she bites. A pleasure. Reject. She is no member of us, and likely she will never be. 
In fact, I would have preferred if she never got released. What she had done, even in the recent past, is beyond words to describe. Horrible acts, even for her kind. Maybe her time in the Soul Gem and her broken connection to Molag Ball will affect her for the better. We will see. Don't let your guard or attention around her down, though. She is dangerous, and she has done a lot worse than just killing people. Goodbye. So, Tesserelle isn't happy. Uh, oh, um, I don't know how to put this, so I'd like to say thanks for freeing me. I'm gonna live in this tower then, with you, if you like. Er, don't get me wrong, please. I know that you likely know of my past, and I'm not going to continue my old life. I've had enough of being banished and soul-trapped, for this century at least. So, um, I won't be naughty, or I won't do anything stupid. Promise. Look her up? I don't know, I'm kind of used to Cold Harbor, and this city is different. Not better or worse, just different. After my recent past, I accept that it's better than when I don't leave the tower. Much more room than in the torment that is a soul gem either way. My trade. Unemployed. Well, what else? It's not that I can continue my life as a harvester of souls and debt collector. This part is over, so I'm just getting used to being here. Keep the place clean. And if I can help you with anything, let me know. Background. I guess you already heard of me. I am Verjeka, and yes, I once was part of a little gang consisting of Tarumarin, Valeria, and myself. We had a lot of fun in our time. Until the Battlespire incident, I had served Nocturnal, but afterwards I chose Molag Ball instead. I learned a lot, and it was a great time, at least for me. Yet, Lord Molag Ball doesn't tolerate weakness, which I have shown by being overpowered by Chandra. Now I'm here, out of the soul gem for which I am grateful. It's difficult though, there once was normal for both me a servant and a helper of Tanarok is not acceptable anymore, hard to adapt to these new times. Can you wear something else? Of course I can, wait a second or two, I'll put on my most beautiful attire of myself. Oh, she's naked. Well met. Put something on, please. Well, if you insist, I can do this. A pleasure to. Sp yeah. So you can decide whether you want her naked or not. <laughs> I like to see you stay around. Cellar chamber. Well, if you insist, then I'd be down there. I hope I can. Stay around. Upper chamber. At least it's the most luxurious chamber. Well met. Stay around. You can move freely. Thank you. So yeah, I guess if you want her out of the way, you can tell her to stay in the cellar where you... Well, I personally hardly ever go. She... Yeah, I thought she went to Merindin for a second. So she has 33 different things that she does, potentially. But I think they're all in the tower. And you can't really do anything else with her. She's just sort of a roommate. Look at the muscles on you. But now we just gotta find Tashekru and see what she has to say. How dare you? Do you really think I'm going to live here at the side of that murderous bitch for Jekka? I'm not into sharing, and especially not into raping, maiming, and killing people. Why did you free her? Why? Why? Have you totally lost your mind? How could I be so wrong about you? No. Don't you dare say a word. I'm sick of it. So sick of it. I can't take this anymore. Already I've spoken with Valeria, and she agreed to let me move in. And I really like this tower, like you. Yet, this is a world of disappointments. Have your fun with her. For rescuing me, though, I pray that she won't take your soul to Cold Harbor with her. 
go. So, I completed the quest. <laughs> Due to me giving Rejecca a place in my tower, Tashekru moved out and terminated our relationship. Oh, she took away the spells too. <laughs> Goodbye. So yeah, Tishekru goes to live with Valeria in this situation. No, I'm sorry, no. It hurts too much to speak with you, seeing you. Please go and leave me to dwell in darkness and despair. How are you? So she has okay. different lines you? to spend I've Depending on what stage you reached in the relationship. Nothing I'd like to talk about. If she's still in Merendin, she'll scold you for choosing to live with her instead of... To, for Jekka instead of Tishakru. Or, eh, different options. Oh my god, stop following me. I do kind of wonder, in this situation, how does she get back to Merindin? Or does she just say, screw it, and not work for the Stranded Light anymore? So an interesting side effect of Tishakru terminating the relationship is uh, Kara seems to think that you've insulted Tishakru a lot. I think because when she terminates it, it does a modifier of like a hundred rude responses to Tishekru. So I like how you talk to that Tishekru. Always nice to see when others are able to see through their deceptive behavior. Makes an honest exhibile feel proud. So there's like three or four of them. Ha! I love how you treat Tishekru. Finally someone else realizing what's in store with her and that she's not to be trusted. On the contrary, all this sweet talking, playing the harmless and mistreated damsel, what a joke. Not to be trusted. After I abandoned the dead lands, I lived for a long time in a cave near a small city. One day I had an angry mob standing before me, babbling something about revenge for some children. I tend to remember what I ate, and mortal children weren't on my diet anymore, so I was quite surprised. The mob quickly disbanded after I had, uh, dispatched the first few members. While I had to switch caves, it piqued my interest, so I began investigating. All missing children went to the same school, which was the only one around, so that wasn't a surprise. In there, I saw that there was a hidden to mortals. One of the teachers was a doppelganger, a Daedra seducer serving Moloch Ball appearing as a mildly confused, sympathetic old man to mortal eyes. I do not know what he did with the children, if he feasted on them or brought them directly to Cold Harbor. What happened to him? As there was a council meeting to discuss how to track down a certain exhibile, someone, somehow, his enchantments was dispelled. A great turmoil was the result. He tried to flee, but was somehow impaled by a flamberge, just coincidentally tossed in his path, which is to say, not much, vanished to oblivion for years to come, not dead. He may return some day, if he is not already. You know what I would like to do? Hug you. But then likely Tesserael and Zerishu would look funny at me, and we don't want that, do we? I'm very glad that you're not falling for Tashekra's charms. Women or not, Maybe there's hope after all. Ah, so that one's related to what sex you are. Might be different if you're a man, I think. Uh, so that's all of those. And tell me about Tashekru. I'm very glad that you've seen her true nature and were brave enough to call her out on it time and time again. You've got a great future and a good judgment. I'm very glad that you don't fall for her charms. She's dangerous. Even if one of them won't kill, they can screw with the head and mind of their victim. Yet you don't seem to become her victim. I'm happy about it. 
Oh, and there's one for Rejecta too. She is no member of the Stranded Light, and never will be one. I swear, as you had the soul gem containing her spirit in your possession, I should have knocked you on the head, told, took the gem, and tossed it at the bottom of the ocean, or sent it directly to Quagmire or another interesting place. Even compared to other Daedra Seducer, she's a despicable creature. You can't imagine the deeds she's committed. So yeah, just little like leftovers of the relationship that might have been with Kara. <laughs> Cause that was never fleshed out or it was abandoned. Cause it was supposed to be like a competing relationship between Kara and Tashekru and you had to choose one. Like the Renrija Kren and the Dune Walkers. <laughs> Hurry up! But yeah, if you do complete the romance and complete the physical aspect of it, then she will still scold you for freeing Brajeka, but she'll she won't terminate the relationship. So yeah, I'll reload and wait until I finish things with the Shekru and then free Brajeka. That's all for the debts. See you next time.